Great win. Uh, first win uh, in conference. Uh, nothing like getting it at home. Uh, we got another tough opponent this week. Uh, play a great Missouri State uh, football team. Uh, we'll go there. We'll uh, leave on Friday. Got a long trip, but uh, looking forward to getting on the road, uh, having a great week of practice. Really excited the way the team came out and started. Uh, we had to start fast. Uh, they did that. They came out from uh, the kickoff and uh, start up fast. We got to continue to do that throughout, uh, throughout the game. But uh, proud, of, proud of these young men. It was a great W. Is there any certain approach? I know it's, it's just, it's just a, another game, but Missouri State leaving the conference next year. So is this special to them? Is it like, hey, the, the team really wants to get the, 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 the team really wants to get the last, the, 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 that they want to get the, the last win or what? No, you know, really the first time I've thought about that, as you mentioned it, uh, I look at them just like any team in our conference. Uh, another, I told the team this morning, uh, we're playing another great team in our conference, but so are we. We're a great team. Uh, we got to go out there. It'll be two great teams playing this weekend, and that's how I approach it. And uh, Owens, what, what can you say about that national, national fresh, national fresh, 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 freshman of the of the of the week? That's right. I think that's a great honor uh, for Elijah, um, but it's a great honor for this football team. Uh, we had another young man in 2018 receive this award, uh, and Ryan Boyle. Uh, had a, and it was against an opponent of uh, South Dakota, and that was a great game. I uh, haven't had that uh, recognition since then. So uh, if you ask Elijah, he's more worried about the team accomplishments uh, than his own. And, uh, but that's a great uh, honor, and we're certainly proud of that as a team. So after a huge, huge opening home, home, home opener conference win, what, what are you taking into this, into this uh, Missouri State game? Got to start fast. You know, we got to come out and start fast, play fast, and then play faster as the game gets going. Uh, and we did that, and that's how they practiced all, all last week. We got to do the same thing this week and come off to a, a fast start when we play on Saturday. That second half kind of got a little scary there toward the mm -hmm. end. How can you sort of maybe uh, prevent that on, on Saturday? Well, you know, I mean, they're, gonna, they're, they're an explosive team on Saturday. Uh, we talk to our team all the time about staying in the moment. Don't get caught up in the moment. They're going to have big plays. But this is what our team's all about. They got a lot of fight. And uh, whatever the score is, they just keep fighting. You know, and when it got to be 24 24, we kept fighting. When it was 27 24, they kept fighting. Uh, there's so many plays in that game on both sides of the ball. You know, stopping them to hold them to a field goal. That fourth down stop or that third down stop, if they get that first down, then they're going to run the clock out, kick, kick field goal. I mean, there's so many plays in that game, and, it, and, it, and it's just our team keeps fighting. So kind of with that, the, the, the team is, has, has the team's just been fighting this season, but what's the biggest challenge now going into Saturday, and, and, how, and how will the team, uh, uh, how will the team uh, approach it? Well, I think it'll, it'll be approached by, uh, you know, guys coming back to work. Um, you know, we don't, uh, we're not going to do anything different. You know, and uh, uh, but uh, what, what you see is this team just keeps battling. And uh, when things are going well, they battle. When things aren't going so well, they keep battling. And uh, but that's the makeup of this football team. Uh, they know what we have to do tomorrow. It starts tomorrow when we go out to practice. Uh, we're going to go fast. We have a great practice. We'll put together a great game plan and do the same thing on Wednesday. So what's <clears throat> what is the team most most looking forward to with this Saturday? I think the challenge. I think the challenge you have each and every week. Uh, we told the team this morning it's another great football team in our conference that we're playing. You know, every week you're playing really, really good football teams. And uh, this is just another one. And these guys are as explosive of football teams, especially on offense. They're really good on defense. Uh, but they're as explosive as a team uh, that we've seen this year. What a great challenge. What are you going to see from the from the, from the from the from the from the defense on Saturday? Yeah, well, I, I you know I see a team that, that plays hard, all eleven guys. Um, they fly around. Um, we've got guys. We got an older group. You know, I counted uh, uh, nine seniors starting. We've got to use that to our advantage. Can't put a price tag on experience. We got nine older guys out there that have been here before. JP's one of them. This is probably his third time being here. Um, 
but he's been there. He's been in this situation. He's been in these games, and uh, that's what we're going to rely on. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Talk about JP. I mean, you got to talk about the cornerbacks <clears throat> overall. Every time you look, it seems like you're getting a hand on the ball. Mm -hmm. Five, six pass breakups. JP had a couple of them. Jorge as well. How good is it, first off, just to have JP back in the lineup to mm -hmm. with, coming back from injury? But how great is it just to see them consistently being around the ball? Even if they're not getting the picks, they're still making plays. Yeah, he brings energy. You know, brings confidence. Um, he's put an awful lot into this program. And, uh, you know, him being out, you know, I, I stopped asking him, you know, how he's feeling because I knew how he's feeling. Um, he wanted to be out there worse than anybody. And when he's out there, he'll, he, you can see in the way he's playing, the energy he brings, what he's put into this program. Um, but uh, we got six games to go, and he's just getting better and better as he's getting back out there. You look at running back depth, I mean, you've got three good ones out there, and Sheen obviously had that breakout run in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from that group, and just how have they continued to set that expectation of being able to move the chains and run that offense? I said it after the game, it's the way they practice. Uh, I've seen a, uh, the expectation, the bar being you know, raised. Uh, they make each other better. You know, They come out, they compete every day. Uh, they practice that way every day. Uh, when he made, and I told him the other day, I said, big backs in October and November are no fun to tackle. And uh, uh, you saw that at the end of the game. And uh, he's a strong runner, he's got breakaway speed, uh, but he practices that way and he's just gonna get better and better.